Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. I actually sitting here in my study at the close of the Lord's Day, getting ready to uh, burn a DVD to upload to YouTube that I can share a few minutes with you here at the beginning of the week. And so sitting here uh, behind my desk or at my desk, I guess I'm kind of sitting to the side of it actually, but anyway, here I am after uh, going through the activities of another Lord's Day and thinking about the beginning of another week and how I want this week to be one of the best that I have known because I'm doing my best to make it one of the best. And you know, I think a lot of times that we think, well, some people are just really lucky and, and uh, you know, it seems like everything goes their way and they do so well with their endeavors and able to accomplish uh, things that they want to accomplish, reach their goals and realize their aspirations and uh, we attribute that to just luck. But I don't think that if I have a good week and get a lot done and enjoy a lot of blessing and, and uh, all of that, I don't think it'll be because I'm lucky. I think it'll just kind of be because I've worked to make it that way. Kind of like the guy that uh, asked a wealthy person, he said, uh, just how come it is that you are so wealthy? And the person said, well, I guess it's just luck. And it seemed like the harder that I work, the luckier that I get. And so, you know, if I can attribute any uh, success or any realization of, of reaching goals or uh, getting things done that I really want to get accomplished, I'd have to say that it's probably due to me doing the best that I can. Now, my best isn't always very good, and that's where I come to realize that, you know, if I'm just relying upon my efforts and relying upon any ability that I have to make this week a good week as far as being productive and being a blessing in my ministry, uh, I think that uh, it's going to be because of the effort that I make along with the help that the Lord gives. I remember an old person that I used to work for at the school district back when I was in Bible college. I did custodian work from 3 in the afternoon to 11 at night. That's how I put myself through Bible school and provided for my family, was doing the custodian work. And we had an old uh, Methodist uh, lay preacher that was the uh, supervisor of the maintenance department. He was my uh, supervisor or my boss. And, and I've heard him say a lot of times, you know, that we need to work as though everything depended upon us and pray as if everything depended upon God. And that's kind of how I want to start the week. I want to work just as hard as if it all depended on me, but I want to pray and ask God to help me just as if everything depended upon Him. So God and I together are going to have a good week. I'm going to get some things done that I want to get done. I want to reach out and touch uh, lives in a positive way and be a blessing in whatever way that I can. And I know that if I do that, it's not going to be just because I hit it lucky, but it's going to be because I worked hard and trusted the good Lord to help me to have a good week. So I want it to be a good week. I tell you, we're coming down to the end of 2012, and I've got a lot of goals that haven't been reached and some aspirations that have not been realized, and I would just like to see some of my goals reached before year's end. And so I'm going to have a good week because I'm going to really work at it and I'm going to depend upon God to help me in my endeavors, whatever they may be. Well, let's pray and ask God to bless us throughout a day of life and throughout the coming week that we might be a blessing in the way that he wants to use us. Heavenly Father, you're so good to us. We thank thee for your goodness and your mercies and pray thee, Lord, that thou would help us to realize that there's a work to be done for the glory of God. Lord, we just pray that thou will use us as a servant of God. May we do the very best that we can, Lord. May we put forth the very best effort. But on the other hand, realize that it's not what we are able to do, but it's what God is able to do through us that really matters. So bless us today and help us to love and to serve thee, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting us share, and we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.